I think it's absolutely essential to understand the context within which a building is situated in order to fully realise its design potential. I'm currently working at an architectural firm called John Wardle Architects. I work with engineers, consultants, uh, historians on the projects that we realise. And I think that being able to empathise and being able to collaborate with different industry professionals has been one of the essential things that I've gained from the Melbourne model. Because I was enrolled in a Bachelor of Arts, I was able to undertake a number of breadth subjects. and. I had an interest in architectural history and was fortunate enough to do architectural subjects which then led me to my Master of Architecture. In the second year of my Master of Architecture I co-founded Inflection which is a student edited journal. We saw a potential for the conversations that were happening in the university to be extended beyond the university and to engage with uh, industry and an international audience. And so it's now published internationally. In a way it's very empowering because as a student you can get your voice out there. My research was on the Fairfield paper mill, how we could sustainably adapt this site, which was a former boiler house, into a localised power supply and also a community centre. And my project looked at the opportunities for adaptive reuse in post-industrial sites because understanding the history of these sites allows us to understand the history of our city. I'm a graduate of architecture that thinks sustainability before structure.